Hi everyone, uh, it's three o'clock, so we should start with the presentation. Uh, my name is Dragan Podvezanec. I'm uh, coming from a company called Igea from Croatia. And today I will uh, talk uh, something about Croatian State Geodetic Administration Geoportal, uh, especially about component uh, uh, administration component, which deals with users management and uh, something about usage analysis uh, through these years that we are uh, running this geoportal. So what it is, something about uh, this geoportal, uh, it provides anonymous and registered access to state geodetic administration datasets through web viewer uh, and uh, web services. It's important part of creation of spatial data infrastructure and it's a solution based on proven uh, free and open source software such as PostgreSQL, GeoServer, GeoWebCache, OpenLayer, Linux, HAProxy and so on. So it's a very uh, horizontal and vertical scalable system uh, which was uh, upgraded few times according to customer needs and uh, according to rise of the usage in the country. It had a few major upgrades of uh, back-end, front-end software, hardware and of course networking. Uh, there are two main components. One is the web viewer. You can visit it any time. It has some uh, standard uh, viewer functionality um, based on open source software such as OpenLayer, Cesium, Angular, and so on. Uh, basic func functionalities like panning, zooming, so on, and uh, advanced functionalities like drawing, measuring, printing, uh, and various other stuff. Also login, registration, and so on. Uh, it also has uh, 3D viewer based on cesium, so you can see some pretty stunning imagery there. Uh, there are also fast uh, search uh, through Elasticsearch, uh, where you can search for anything, and so on. Uh, another main and now most important component are services. Uh, through the years, uh, more and more uh, institutions uh, started to use WMS and WMTS and uh, WFS services because they are fast, they are reliable, and uh, GeoPortal provides main uh, stones for almost any GIS application in the country. So it provides sort of photo from various epochs, topographic maps, base maps, administrative units, cadastral data, and so on. So it is used by many other institutions, applications, and portals. There is almost no portal or application that doesn't use uh, some of the data sets from the GeoPortal. So we are practically very important uh, for all others. Uh, it had linear usage uh, rising through the years, so web viewer became maybe less important component and services became more and more important component. Uh, here are some facts and figures about GeoPortal. It's seven years in productions. It had almost zero downtime uh, unplanned. It has around 10,000 daily visitors through web viewer. Uh, daily answers around 35 million requests. Uh, it has 4,000 registered users and it delivers monthly to various users around 15 terabytes of data. Uh, in peak times around noon there could be even more than 4,000 parallel requests to the system. Uh, so after two or three years and after uh, rise of the usage, uh, some questions uh, arise about the geoportal. Uh, so who and how is using the viewer and services? Okay, you know you deliver a lot of data, but who is using it? How is using it? Why are they using it? Uh, can we guarantee different quality of service for different type of users? Because it's not the same if you deliver it to anonymous users or to service level agreement user. Uh, what are the most interesting areas for users? What are they looking for? And uh, how to manage user access for different type of uh, data sets? So we decided with the state geodetic administration that we will go for the three user types. Um, there are anonymous users, uh, which uh, have delivery of services according to available resources. 
There are some watermarks on some of the data sets, but there is no registration necessary. You can use it uh, with any client. Uh, user can also register it with uh, if they are registered, they have some additional data sets, they have no watermarks, and they have higher priority resources than anonymous users. And there are service level agreement users which must have uh, guaranteed uptime and performance, and uh, they get uh, highest priority resources. Uh, this is mostly done by load balancer, with, uh, which has a different number of uh, backend geo servers for different type of users. So. Uh, basic, uh, based on the user type, uh, we decide uh, which backend will serve this kind of user. Uh, now, something about authentication and registration. The user registered on the GeoPortal front end, uh, and after re they registered, they get inserted into GeoServer database. Uh, there is uh, uh, database plugin for GeoServer uh, that reads users from database. Users get some authentication key and some default roles, and uh, his authentication key is valid for uh, eight hours after login, so they can work for all day without uh, any intervention. After eight hours, uh, key is expired, key is uh, stored in memory database, and uh, they must log in again to reactivate the key. So this is a workflow of some of requests. So when the request comes to the uh, backend, this is some Java written uh, software, uh, we first check if the request has a key inside it. If it doesn't, then uh, it is anonymous user. So we just uh, forward it to the uh, backend. If key is if there is a key, we check if it is valid. If it's valid, uh, then we check uh, what is the type of the user from the database. So we know it's, uh, if it's uh, authenticated or it, if it's a service level agreement user. And uh, based on this, we decide uh, what backend will use to serve this user. So this is... Uh, uh, why we chose this authentication? Because uh, while we were considering what to use, we wanted to uh, go for the simplest possible solution that we, uh, will work in any client. So you just uh, paste the authentication key to the end of get capabilities uh, URL, and it will work in any client, in AutoCAD, in ArcGIS, QGIS, any web client. So. Uh, there is nothing else necessary. You don't need to enter username and password. It's just uh, your authentication key. Uh, something about user administration. It's a backend. It's a administration application for the administrator of the GeoPortal. Here he can see some uh, statistics about uh, total users, uh, about uh, uh, registered users, about how many there are now uh, concurrent users on the system, how many registered users are using, and so on. Uh, administrator can delete users manually, add new user, reset password if for some reason user cannot reset on its own. And also he can, um, uh, he can uh, add the user to different role. Um, there, there are also, okay, here uh, <laughs> usernames are blurred because of GDPR. <laughs> so uh, here administrator can uh, create some predefined uh, groups and add or remove user to certain group. Uh, this means that uh, it is uh, quite easy to manage access uh, for some of the data set. Uh, in fact, this is a user-friendly integrated uh, geofence administration via Geofence REST API, uh, where administrator can add, remove, or edit Geofence rules. And uh, in the slide uh, before, he can add user to this uh, certain group. So, for example, if you want uh, to give uh, WFS access to some of your data set, you will create a group for this, and then just click and add uh, users that you want to this group. And then uh, when someone goes to get capabilities based on his, uh, uh, based on his uh, 
uh, authentication, he will get uh, according uh, get capabilities XML. For example, if you have access for some data set, you will have it in your get capabilities. If you don't, then you will get uh, blank uh, get capabilities. Uh, something about uh, usage analysis. Uh, daily load balancer HA proxy creates about 20 gigabytes of uh, request uh, logs, which are delivered nightly to separate uh, machine, which is dedicated for request analysis. Uh, every request gets analyzed, so what we analyze is the layer requested, bounding box uh, from the request service, uh, type of service, WMS, WMTS, WFS, and so, and user if it is there some. If it's not, then it's anonymous request. Uh, analytics summary, which uh, uh, is done through the night, is then stored into the database, and then we can see some statistics about it next day. So, in the administration uh, application, administrator can see uh, summarized statistics for all users, uh, how many requests there were and how many traffic uh, there was uh, last day. Also, uh, he can uh, pick the time range and get summary statistics for some uh, date range. Uh, there are also detailed statistics per workspace, per type of service, per layers, and also uh, we inject some headers uh, from the web viewer so we know that this request came from a web viewer. So we can also here distinguish the requests that came from a web viewer from those requests that came from services. Uh, there is also layers analysis. Uh, there is summarized statistics for all layers. So we can see how many requests there was for every layer. And also we, can, uh, we have uh, detailed statistics per type of services for this layer and per users. Uh, there are also services analysis, there are summarized statistics for all type of services and we can also have uh, detailed statistics uh, per users. So we know top users for some services, so we can know who is using the most. Uh, also there is traffic analysis, which gives us summarized uh, traffic analysis per day or per month, so we can know how many megabytes or gigabytes we delivered, and we also have distinction from viewer and from services. Uh, at the end, there is summarized workspace analysis where we see summarized statistics for all workspaces, also have distinction between anonymous and registered users, and there are also detailed statistics per user, so we know top users for some uh, of the workspace. Uh, there is also generated uh, heat map, so we know uh, what areas do users look at. So for every request, since we know the bounding box of the request, we can create a centroid and then we insert this centroid into database. And uh, of course then it's easy to create a heat map, so you know what were the most interesting areas. On this screenshot, we see the example when there is end of a highway and there's, there is probably some big interest about buying land or maybe construction's uh, work are here, so they made some plans, so they are using services in this area. Uh, now we are exploring uh, future improvements uh, on this uh, uh, analysis and monitoring, uh, usage monitoring, and we are very satisfied uh, with some uh, results we had from uh, Elasticsearch, Logstash, Kibana stack. Uh, we will try to connect uh, HA proxy balancer directly to uh, ELK stack, so we don't have to transfer logs and uh, and process them every night, uh, because if we uh, do this, we will have uh, real-time monitoring and we will have uh, visualizations in real time to see how many requests are now and so on. Uh, and also we will be able to make some instant uh, analysis queries. And 
that's it for my presentation. Uh, thanks for your attentions and I'm open for questions. Hi, thank you. Um, first of all, I've, I've got a few questions. Uh, how do how do you define users? I mean, I mean, who are the you? Not technically, but who are your users? Uh, who are users? Uh, they are really. It can be anybody. For example, uh, um, uh, land service uh, companies, uh, institutions. Uh, I don't know, environmental uh, right. people, telecommunications, uh, uh, land agencies, so uh, est real estate uh, agencies, so a lot of users. Everyone who is doing something in the okay, in the space. Okay, great. Okay, that. Okay, great. Now, how how do they publish to you? They they publish from ArcMap or from QGIS or both? H how do they publish? publish. I mean. How where, where do you, they store their servers? I mean, their services. Services. L like I'm like a, a land authorization, and I want to publish my services, and I want to show up in your site. How do I do that? Ah, uh, that's not uh, meant to be a site for publishing uh, data from the others, but uh, so just to it's serve it's the it's data. It's just, uh, you're, you're, uh, you're sa saving the links, you're storing the links, you don't store the data, or you do? Yes, we do. You we, store we the data? Yes, we store all data from geodetic administration, so all but, uh, base but maps, topographic maps. But you don't have maps. the services. I don't understand. Uh, I, if I, I want to publish and I, I want to show up in your site uh, how do I do I mean if I'm insured if I, I am I allowed if I'm no I what? don't think it's it's not to uh, to meant to it, it system is not meant to publish data from other institutions it's just to deliver uh, data from the geodetic administration to anyone who is interested in their data so uh, maybe we can talk about later right, so okay, <laughs> okay. okay so. Uh, can I ask a question? Yes, of course. Uh, uh, how do you deal with large amounts of data? Is is WMS services yeah, um, are allowing? This this, this was this was necessary because uh, of course we had problems because uh, there is not easy to serve 4,000 uh, HTTPS requests in a second. So now currently. Uh, we always have some bottleneck. It will always have to, since there is a rise of usage. First, there was disks, so they were upgraded to SSD storage and so on. And currently, it, it could be HTTPS can be problem because it uh, it's really hard to deal with uh, such number of requests. But now we will go to the hardware uh, load balancers and maybe to double or triple them to see. This is now the bottleneck, but it's not critical. But we are seeing that it's going to be critical. So upgrades, upgrades all the time. So yeah. And have you thought about having any data like already pre-generated? Pre uh, so there will be no, no live request to GeoServer to Postgres? Uh, data are pre-generated, so most of the data is cached. So, but anyway, you must serve the request. If you if you have a request, you must uh, give an answer. So, uh, what is this? This is good for users because they don't have, they, they don't care for the data. They don't have data on their own machines. Everybody knows that services are there. They are working. They are working fast and they are reliable. So. But we must, of course, provide the services. So, upgrade will be necessary every time. So, this year is also planned upgrade on the networking stack because we are uh, going near the 200 megabits in the critical times. So, we will have to upgrade the uplink to 500 megabits at least. So, just upgrades. Okay, very impressive. And uh, your client is the Croatian government, actually, right? If I understand. Uh, yes, we are doing maintenance of their system. So, yeah, our client, but uh, they are providing services for all, all who is interested in their data. So, 
Yes. That's okay. The answer. okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Any more questions? You mentioned elastic, elastic search a couple of times. I yep. would like to know what kind of searches do you offer to your users, or in other words, what data do you index in elastic uh, search? Anything from administrative units, uh, streets, uh, numbers, house numbers, addresses, uh, cadastral parcels, everything is indexed. Everything is indexed, and uh, we have uh, refresh uh, data from the land agency every night. We get new data differences, uh, and then we re-index data. So probably every day you have uh, fresh data, and it's everything is indexed and searchable. So everything that is in database, and that's almost everything. <laughs> from addresses, administrative units, and so on. Any more questions? Okay. Oh. Thank you. May I? May I? Yes, yes, okay. of course. How you control the quality of those data? Uh, that's not part of our job, because we are just uh, publishing what uh, Geodetic Administration gives to us. So it's, it's not... Uh, um, users who see the, the errors, they just uh, report but directly to the to the geodetic administration, not to us. Uh -huh. We are just in charge. Just providing for the actually the service yeah. of collecting. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Uh, any last question? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>